前か今俺を呼んだのはもちろん柔道ま,またか Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Semaflex channel. Today we're building the Premium Bandai High Grade Universal Century, the LP Plus q b a y Mark II. So, a long time ago, I built a Bluetooth q b a y which is a red one, and I do have an expansion kit for it. And that review basically just covers everything that I'm about to say. So, you know, I'm just gonna skip to the part where it's useful. So, when we open, we see some. Uh, the clear beam effect part. We have some uh, the shoulder legs, uh, shoulder parts as well. We have the shoulder inner part, torso. We have some uh, inner part, some uh, joints as well. We have a the pink part on the c u b a l e as well. We got the c u b a l e uh, c u b a l e uh, storage, uh, the funnel storage. We got the shoulder parts. We got the we got another beam saver part. We got some poly caps here as well. Also, we have an individual. Uh, beam saber part here as well. And next, what we got is、uh, we got the main part here and the inner part as well. And we got some, we got the marker here. Oh, there's actually a Xeon logo on it, which is a pretty good, nice one as well. As usual, two instruction book. One is just say, hey, there's a couple parts that's different, and other than that, is the original Cubase、uh, book. So, nothing really special about that, you know. Uh, I'm gonna build a scumplot and I'll see you at the review.
Hey, welcome back to the review of the Cubelay Mark II the LP Blue version. So this is the finishing of it. So as you can see, it have a it have a really high gloss finish. Uh, if you can see the reflect, you can see me holding a camera, or you can see my fingers moving now. Okay, that's not the point. <laughs> what I'm saying is, this is a really good gloss finish because you know it kind of brings out the suit, the standard, and which means, yep. Yeah, just like the amazing Red Warrior, it's a fingerprint collector. So if you are gonna mess around with some holes, please be sure you have a town to wipe out your fingerprints. Otherwise, it's gonna be the whole fingerprints on the mobile suit. So make sure you have a town when you're messing around with it. All right, back to topic. So this is the, of course, Prince and Bandai is just basically the uh, changing of uh, the color of the uh, revived version Cubelay, and well. Let's get started. So first, I'm going to talk about some movement. So the head, it can only go up and down, not really at the side because there's a there's a huge um, difference in here. And then the torso, the torso part can move up and you can see there's a little detail of cockpit here, which is a really nice feature. Okay, next, talking about the back, uh, the funnel container is slightly movable, probably about 40 degrees. and the all the shoulder the shoulder unit can be moved separately which is a really good feature arms oh pff, by the way don't bend it too much is it will break it will actually break the joint so please don't bend too much uh arms arms is just slightly bendable but if you pull down a bit up oh, uh, you know what screw it <laughs> and then uh, it can go side by side uh, it, can, it could move the front a little bit but if you just generally pull down a bit it should move more but you know, I just almost break the suit, so I'm not doing it. And uh, next we have uh, the torso is 360, not really 360. It's just uh, probably about 90 degrees moving for the torso. Uh, there's a the knees joint here can be movable as well, and the whole leg, whole leg is a double joint. It's really bendable as well. Really good design on that. The feet uh, during is a pretty large piece though. It couldn't really move that much. So, you know, it's probably not that good. Uh, side armor, slightly movable for about 30 degrees. Not really special. All right. All right, back to topic. Let's talk about some accessories. So other than the open hand that you will see right now. Oh, by the way, the open hand does have something special. Uh, it does, can, it could move the fingers and the thumb. The thumb is, the thumb is an individual piece. So um, you can, Mess around with it. It's a really good feature though, I like it. And other than that, other than that, we have two hands options. We have a open hand that I just uh, mentioned, and we have a weapon holding hand on the cubile as well. Alright, so so other than that, we have a lots of things to need to talk. Uh, this suit don't have any big guns, so uh, basically you only have some beam sabers. So the beam sabers store in the hand. You can pull it out and then put on some effect part. Other than that, there's new parts on the mobile suit. So this premium band I came along with two new beam sabers. So as you can see, it's a it's a uh, it's a slightly longer and slightly thicker as well. So um, you can it's, it's good for posing. And other than that, we will have six of the we have six of them uh, the beam sabers effect part because mainly we got a new triple. Oh, we got a new triple beam saber that you can put on it and you can put on uh, in each individual piece on it and it become a triple beam saber um, it does come along with a handle the handle you need to assemble it by yourself uh, by putting on the suit the handle is looks like this so uh, you know basically there's nothing really special I don't know why my camera wasn't focusing I'm sorry about that uh, you know what screw it <laughs> and um, other than that, let's talk about some stickers. So this suit uh, doesn't really uses a lot of stickers other than the shoulder, the ankle, and uh, you know this Zion logo. Other than that, other part is pass by part, so really good feature about the color separation. Definitely really worthy to buy it, by the way. All right. Um, since I don't think there's any else, anything else to say, um, so I'm just gonna wrap it up. So really good design mobile suit, but I kind of feel like it doesn't need to be premium Bandai. You can just release it as a regular release because we would like to see uh, these two uh, Cubelay Mark II, the Bluetooth version and the LP Blue as a regular release. I think if you release it as a regular release, people will still buy it. 
uh, you know, you know, if you're a die-hard UC fan like me, you got those two Cubalis come out, you're still gonna buy it. And you know, I really personally think that the gloss finish is really good. It's uh, way better than the old version. The old version is kind of like a lame black, like sort of like a navy color, kind of kind of bland and. It's, doesn't look good. New version, gloss finish, really good, but it's just you need a towel to wipe out your fingerprints otherwise. And it's really extremely easy to have dust going on. Like you can see them now if I just wipe it down. Uh, you know, I got some dust on it, so um, extremely easy to have the dust. Be sure you have a towel to wipe out your fingerprints and the dust. Other than that, everything is fine. Movements, great. And um, you know, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more Gunplay news and review. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.